where the news comes first. This is News 5 Today. Good morning. The results are finally in, and we've got your winners and losers from the election, not to mention the best news, weather, and traffic the Tri-State has to offer. Welcome to News 5 Today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good Christina. morning. We had a morning, big guys. night last night. No doubt about it. Folks working hard. Yeah, I saw some some droopy-eyed folks leaving the station here as That's we were right. pulling we in. Were I felt kind of guilty. In. They were leaving. <laughs> you felt yeah. kind of guilty, kind but, of, but not, not that super much. guilty. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Boy, they're, they're cutting sleep for a change. You know. Yeah, there you go. You have no need to feel guilty because the weather was exactly like you said it was going to be yesterday. Well, we get lucky every once in a while. It was, it was cold and windy. The clouds mm -hmm. filled in. Uh, winds have finally calmed down a little bit. So. That's some good news. Even though it's not going to be as wind chilly, it's going to be about as cool today. This November chill has some staying power. We're thinking second half of the weekend, early next week, before we really do feel a warm up. But there will also be chances for rain. We can handle it. Thanks a lot, Eric. Here's a look at your top stories for this morning. Hamilton County voters giving their final say on issue 27 with a resounding no. How county leaders say they will move forward coming up. Across the river, Kentucky voters deciding the future of their state. How northern Kentucky could be a key part of the new governor's plans. Still ahead. But perhaps the big issue of the night, long delays on results in Hamilton County. Why election officials say the holdup was in the public's interest. Well, as you wake up this morning, you can catch the top races right here on News 5 Today. We have the results for many of the races running along the bottom of your screen. And you can get the results of the more than 300 local elections on our website as well. That's WLWT.com. And as we mentioned, the big story from the night, a problem with vote counting in Hamilton County. The final vote tally was held up for hours, and News 5's Angela Brown's live at the Board of Elections. Balance the county budget in the meantime. Dave Wagner, News 5, where the news comes first. And the county commissioners will be taking up that issue in just a few hours. They're going to meet to talk about the county budget at 930 this morning. We'll have that meeting covered for you. In the Bluegrass State, a new governor has been elected. Democrat Steve Bashir beat out Republican incumbent Ernie Fletcher. Our Amy Wagner was in the state capitol following this race. Good morning. There has been a change of power in Kentucky. Democrat Steve Bashir. In the Bluegrass State, a new governor has been elected. Democrat Steve Bashir beat out Republican incumbent Ernie Fletcher. Our Amy Wagner was in the state capitol following this race. Good morning. There has been a change so far this Wednesday morning, guys. All right. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Thanks a lot, Pete. Our election coverage, it's not over yet. Oh, no. Still ahead this morning, we'll have a reaction from some of the students affected by failed levies as they wake up this morning. What costs are they going to be responsible for at school, and what cuts will the district have to make? He is accused in a series of brutal attacks in the tri-state, but today he is facing judgment in another case. The latest on David Hopper's sentencing still ahead this morning. We're bringing you stories with new information now. We start with a story from overnight. Rescue crews dealing with a fire in Erlanger. It happened in the Snowco Corflex plant. Crews at the scene say the fire started in the compactor. The plant was evacuated for a while and the roads outside the business were closed. Fortunately, firefighters were able to contain the fire inside the compactor. The man known as the blue-eyed rapist will be sentenced in federal court today. David Hopper cut a deal on two armed robbery charges that will put him behind bars for 32 years. Now, Hopper is still facing charges in Grant County of rape and sodomy. Investigators have linked Hopper to a string of attacks on tri-state women dating back to the early 90s. And a big day for the future of Argosy Casino. A massive new hole for the casino will arrive by barge in Lawrenceburg. This is the first of two holes being shipped from Indiana. And get this, they're each 504 feet long and 108 feet wide. They are so tall that they will barely fit under some of the bridges in the Ohio River. The Buckeyes are tearing it up on the gridiron. But the same can't be said for the basketball team. Coming up, while Ohio State fans are wondering what should have been just a scrimmage turned into an embarrassing loss. Why that happened? Welcome back to our continuing coverage this morning of elections. We want to run through some of the other important levies on many of your ballots. Hamilton County's mental health services tax levy passed. Take a look at the numbers. 54% voted for it, 45% against it. This will increase taxes by about $7 for a $100,000 home. And the Hamilton County Senior Services levy also passed. A strong margin there. 69% voted for it. The supporters, this program supports things like Meals on Wheels. 
And let's run through a few of the school levies now. It's within 50 votes for Hamilton County's second largest district. That's Northwest. The tax levy appears to have failed with 100% of the precincts reporting there, so very close. Yeah, another close margin for the Milford School bond issue. This measure passed 5,600 votes to 5,400 votes. The extra $31 million will help expand the high school and make other improvements. And for a complete look at all the school issues, including board members elected, levies, and more, go to WLWT.com. Search results are right there on the front page. All right, now we're going to get a check of our weather forecast. Boy, was it cold when I walked out the door this morning, Eric. 